pressure on them. Yeah. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Two shots to the head. That's what I call an extra bonus. Woo. So GameStop is coming out in favor of games as a service. Mind blown. I would have never seen this coming. Why? Because I know GameStop lives and dies by used games. I mean, that's really what makes GameStop GameStop. The fact that you can come in and buy a game new, walk out the door, open the packaging, walk right back in the store, and that game will be worth a lot less if you try to trade it in. But um, GameStop will also turn around and take that game and then resell it to somebody else at pretty much the same price as what it costs new. Maybe off about maybe five bucks, you know? Um, and I always had a love-hate relationship with GameStop for many reasons, right? Um, I like GameStop being the fact that, you know, when you need something in a hurry, you can always go to GameStop and find it. If you need to find a used game that, you know, you just don't want to buy new or you don't want to wait for it to come uh, via delivery by Amazon or whatever other service, then you can walk into a GameStop and you can pretty much get the game that you want. And usually it's at a fair price if it's used. If it's used, you can find it at a truly fair price, right? Now, I quote from PlayStationLifestyle.net. This is directly uh, from an interview conducted by GameIndustry.biz. Eric Bright, GameStop's vice president of merchandising, said the company is seeing an immense increase of traffic because of popularity of games as a service. Now, it says here, and I quote, we're seeing huge increases in our traffic for headsets and controllers and digital as people are coming in and purchasing digital subscription cards, digital currency, so they can go home and play Fortnite. He says, adding that brick and mortar stores benefit from games as a service titles more than you might think. We do about a billion dollars in sales of digital. That's consumers who are opting to come to a physical location to pick up digital currency. Either they're an underage customer or a customer who doesn't like utilizing their credit card. But they're coming in because what they see is that in order to buy their digital goods, they're using either cash or trade to make that purchase. So that's an absolutely reoccurring and growing revenue stream that we're seeing. And while they're there picking up an extra controller, they're picking up a headset. They're picking up accessories that go along with it as well. Now, end quote, I say to you, right, how long can you maintain people coming in buying currency? The currency is only going to be as good as the game is popular, right? As far as games go, your games division, your used games division is going to take a massive hit when everything goes all digital. I get it. They're trying to look at the bright side and you have to give them props because they're trying to change with the times. But if you look at it for what it is, you and I both know this would not be something that would be sustainable for GameStop. I mean, it's just not because now your business staying open is only conducive of people coming in and purchasing digital currency. Because let's be honest, looking at the future of gaming, everything is going to be digital and literally GameStop is not going to have a ball in the court, bro. They're not going to have a ball in the court. Yes, there will be one-time purchases where people go into GameStop to buy the digital card to then go and redeem on their consoles, but they can't do anything with it after that. There is no more recurring revenue for GameStop at that point. I mean, when I walk into a GameStop, honestly, the amount of toys and clothes and cell phones and junk I see in there, it looks like a fucking pawn shop. More than a game store. Now, again, like I said, I know that they're trying to look on the bright side and I know they're in the process of being purchased at this point. And, you know, that's that's not doomsday for GameStop. Right. So let's not say it or let's not make it out to be doomsday because somebody may buy them out and you might see more GameStops pop up. You know, somebody might buy them out and you might see a ton of stores close. We do not know what the future hold, but I think 
trying to give a glimmer of hope or catering to those companies that do this games as a service model is only going to do you a disservice in the end and it's going to be the end of you GameStop it's going to be the end of you because once people come in and buy that currency how often will kids how often will adults come in to buy currency from GameStop now a billion dollars a year is nothing to slump at that's a lot of money that's a lot of money for nothing if you think about it <laughs> so i can most certainly understand it but then again a lot of people are getting to the point where they don't want to go out and purchase things from gamestop i mean to a certain extent there would be no reason for me to go there if i could just purchase the same thing online or if i could purchase this same thing on my console platform let's say i don't want to use my credit card on my console platform uh well there's things called paypal and people use things called paypal to pay for things like currency in games and i don't know any adults who are gonna say you know what i'm not gonna give you my credit card but i'll drive to the store waste gas go to gamestop and buy you the same card that i could have bought you while sitting at home that's just not going to be something that continues to happen. The only reason why that's something that continues to happen now is because there is a viable source of trade that can be done. Once that viable source of trade is gone, i.e. used games, because physical is going the way of fuck all, you know, it's going to be something where people are not going to be coming into your brick and mortar store, man it's not going to happen bro like if you really believe and you have to keep in mind trade values for games have gone to the shitter like jesus trade-in value for games especially at gamestop are terrible so now that we're moving towards this all digital future what are you gonna do then gamestop see you're 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 speeding up the process of killing off yourself and it's funny that nobody that's in this corporate position or nobody has the foresight to see that this is exactly what's going to happen. Um, but I can see that it's going to happen and I don't work for GameStop. I mean, it just is what it is. But I would like to know what you guys take on it. Do you think uh, GameStop making a billion dollars um, off of digital goods or pretty much the games as a service i mean because it's not all digital goods you know people are coming in buying headsets people are coming in you know buying controllers things like that and the gamestop seems to believe that this is all something that is happening based on games like fortnite i i just don't know what the correlation between headsets and fucking controllers and fortnite is because you need headsets and controllers for any games that you're gonna play but i mean i guess it is what it is and i guess they're not particularly talking about fortnite when they say games as a service as a generalization or an umbrella of of things you know so i guess we'll have to see what happens man anyway uh let me know your comments down below you have a great rest of your day and thank you for tuning in man i do appreciate all of the support please hit that like button comment subscribe and share you guys have a wonderful one now